the three top balance exercises. Hi, my name is Doug. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and I specialize in helping people with balance problems learn to walk again. In this video, I'm gonna show you the three top exercises that the recent research has shown to be the most effective at improving your balance, helping you resist falls, and improving your walking. Okay, we're gonna do heel to toe walking. So to do that, you wanna grab your chair and you wanna bring your foot in front of your other foot, touching your heel, your heel to your toe, and take one, two, and if you can, three steps, turn around facing the chair, and then one, two, three steps back. I have a kind of a, a bar here, so I'm not gonna take a full step, but if you can, try to take three full steps. Two, three, and every time you do it, you wanna turn towards the chair just to be safe. The goal is to do this, one foot in front of the other, but you might have to hold on. But if you can completely let go, it's a really good balance challenge. So this does a couple things. One is, it kind of forces you to think about where your, your feet are in space. And that's called proprioception, that sense. And that's something that's lost a lot of times as we get older because we stop practicing sports and stop practicing balance activities. And that skill of knowing where your feet are in space can get worse but it can also improve. So if you do an exercise like this where, you, where you're kind of hitting a target, in this case, your heel to your toe, that actually can improve your awareness of where your feet are and that makes balance and coordination better. I think I'm gonna let go a little bit. Now, if you wanna sit down and rest, please do. You don't have to do all two minutes of exercise. Rest as often as you want. I'm gonna keep trying to demonstrate it. My knees are a little bit bent while I'm doing this. I don't wanna be stiff-legged when I do it because that's gonna make it feel a lot harder. It's just a lot harder to balance when your knees are stiff. We're just about done here, just a couple more. I'm gonna come over here. And we are finished. So we're gonna do tapping. You wanna fold a towel or just have something in front of you like a piece of tape or some type of target. You're gonna shift your weight and tap your foot on it and then shift your weight to the other side and tap. Now, it's important that it's a tap and not stepping on it. A lot of times when I have people do this, they wanna step on the towel. It's much harder to tap and that's what we're going for is a balance challenge. You wanna keep all your weight on the leg you're standing on but you're moving your other foot forward and actually doing something, which is challenging. It really takes a lot of extra balance to be able to tap your foot rather than push down and put your body weight forward. So if you can, just make a little tap and go back and forth. Now I'm not holding on, but you can definitely hold on and do this in the beginning, but you wanna get to the point where you can let go. You can even kinda hover your hand over the chair while you're doing it but try to get to the point where you're not holding on at all and that you're tapping right to left. Now, if you're tired, you're welcome to sit down and rest a little bit. There's no, no reason you can't rest a few times while you're doing this in two minutes. I'm gonna keep going just to demonstrate it, but your pace can be a lot slower too. You can kind of go at this pace if you want. It doesn't have to be a fast pace. So when we're following me with these exercises, you can rest as much as you can, as much as you want to, and you don't have to keep the same pace I'm, I'm going at. For most people, it's probably too fast. So if you're feeling better about it or feeling confident in your balance, you can go faster. You know, I've had people even go at, you know, kind of this pace when they're doing it. Um, but for the most part, this is the right pace. Okay, we're getting close to the end here, in case you're wondering. And just a couple more repetitions. And last one. Okay, we're gonna do sidestepping. So grab your chair, and all you're gonna do is take one big step to one side, bring your other foot in, then bring one step to the other side, bring your foot in. The goal is to do this without holding the chair. But if you're struggling with that, you can put one hand on the chair or both hands on the chair. This is a great exercise. It builds the muscles in the sides of your legs, the hip abductor muscles that lift your leg out to the side. 
But the big thing is, is it helps you practice what's called a protective step. When someone loses their balance or when their balance is disturbed, they have to take a protective step to maintain their balance. But if you never practice stepping to the side, and a lot of people really don't, it, they become rusty at it. They're not used to stepping to the side. So when they try to do it to save their balance, to stop a fall, they can't. So practicing this is really an effective way of improving your balance. There's a lot of research that says this is one of the best exercises to practice. Um, when you're doing it, make sure you keep your knees bent. You know, you don't want to be walking on stiff legs. That's bad for your knees, but also it actually makes your balance worse. So always try to keep your knees bent. And I am lifting my foot up as almost as if I'm stepping over something. Try not to shuffle. If you're shuffling, I'd say grab on. Um, and if at any point, if you're tired, please sit down and take a rest. You don't have to do this the whole two minutes. I'm just demonstrating that for you. And you can go at whatever pace you want, whatever step length you want. But your goal should be kind of a big step, you know, at least covering the distance of a chair like this, each time side to side. We just have a few more to go. Um, I know this can be kind of tiring. Just about done. I think this is our last one and finished. I hope you found this video helpful. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.